pretty big moment here for me. I am actually going to use diamond for the very first time. And it's not going to be on a tool. Going to be making a sword. A diamond sword. Absolutely badass. And the reason I'm making it is not so I can die and lose it, but <laughs> so that it actually aids in my survival. We'll see how that works out. But I am excited to use it. Only I don't have food to safely, or, or armor or food on me to uh, safely fight these creatures here at night. Oh, but I will use it. Okay, this might be my first opportunity. I don't know if I could reach this guy, but... Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Well, at least my items are safe. We reached each other, but then he shot me through my door. Damn skeletons. And they know just where to go. Even though I put up, you know, a whole nother row in front of my house, a fortification. God. Well, <laughs> the first victims of my diamond sword. Ooh, one shot. <laughs> I guess that's how it should be. <laughs> Aww. Our, uh, our piggies and cows. Simply because they were there. Oh. And chicken. Well, actually. I'm going to have fun with chicken. Elusive chicken. <laughs> Wanted to make him fly. Fly chicken. <laughs> that was cool. I think maybe if he were up at the top and I pulled him, then maybe he'd fly. Oh, he disappeared. Okay. Must be the draw distance. Vanishing chicken. I'm telling you, these chickens. Very sneaky. Very creepy. And yeah, hard enough just to get on my line. Oh. Aw, and you broke my pole, chicken. Take, take Ryu fist. Yeah, that's right. Darn chickens. Okay, so I'm back down with many more ladders. And it's kind of spooky. Being this tight in and this deep down. Not, not to mention it's nighttime. Alright, I dug really far down, and I, you know, I dropped from about where that ladder is to here, and I freaked out as if I was falling a really long distance. Uh, I was just anticipating falling into lava, which could have happened because there's lava right there, but this is exactly what I was hoping for. I don't know how, I already see what there's... One, two, three offshoots, and of course, a lot of potential down there as well. This is just what I was hoping for. Um, I'll try not to go too far in one direction, but I do love to map out my area, see what goodies I, I have immediately. Um, I'll try not to go deeper just yet, as far as going down. Wow, that's a ton of coal. Even more. Awesome. Iron. Whoa, whoa. Something <laughs> sounds close. <laughs> God. Uh, zombie noises. Okay, but where are you? Close, I know that. Ooh. A lot of iron. Is this three already? Four. I hear you. You're not making my 
iron collecting as enjoyable as it can be. That was five. Not bad. Okay. Chill out. I got I got six iron because I I counted six I got um, a little pocket of iron a big pocket I guess uh, six iron uh, on on the way down building that ladder system so well I I'm gonna make sure when I come down here I'm really prepared as in even prepared with armor hmm. but before I leave. I don't think I can shoot the creeper into the lava because, yeah, he's being blocked off. Oh, don't push me down, water. I'll at least upset him. Hmm. Let's see where this TNT flows. I wonder if I drop it on the water and punch it, will it flow towards the creeper? Looks like it might. And that will accomplish my favorite kind of digging, which is by TNT and Creeper. Let's give that a try. Okay, well, I can't place it on that water. Oh, no. No, no, I don't want to put you there. wasn't letting me place it on the water. Maybe you can't do that. Aw, that would have been fun. Is there any way I could collect this? I don't think punching through the surrounding stone is going to do it. But I thought TNT was supposed to adhere to gravity. Maybe not. I'm not quite sure how that works. Well, maybe when I punch it, then it'll drop. Let's find out. Yep. Aw. It didn't flow with the current. Got stuck. Oh, I guess maybe it did flow, but... Not further far enough. Did it get the creeper? I guess it must have. Got some redstone here. Alright. Okay, well now I'm I'm good to head back up. And try and be a little safe. I am glad I have a place to go to now when I want to when I want to uh, mine at night. I don't have to feel so trapped in my place. And I can also tell exactly when it's uh it's daytime all the way from down there, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, so something... is that telling me something must be around there if I hear that noise? And not, not your noise. <laughs> Stupid cows. death sound. I'm ready to go back into my... well, it was uh, supposed to be my um, cave system for doing night um, mining. Give me more things to do at night, but uh, it, it's something new and, you know, I'm gonna go back to my um, really big cave system. But I'm having fun with this right now. One thing that I love about, as you could just see from this, um, you know, straight down shaft with ladders, is I wasn't holding down uh, to get there. You can literally, and, and I did literally just walk over it. And so that's that's how you fall when you're surrounded by ladders and nothing else. Uh, so it's a really convenient, easy way to 
get all the way down. Let's explore this area a little more. And I'm waiting, kind of waiting for my... my homemade forest, I guess, to grow. Because I really need wood for this project I would love to get started on. So I'm waiting for all that potential wood to sprout up. Huh. Um, I have some fun down here. Reacquainting myself with the area. Okay, so that's right. I didn't want to go further down until now. And, alright, I do have signs on me. I'll use those a little later. After I know what to call a place like this. I don't know how deep this goes. Let's see. This has been very safe so far, which is, is not my norm. Um, I kind of feel a little silly treading so lightly um, to not find any any mobs about. This is one of those nice relaxing digs. Oh wow, that was interesting. It's awesome that while you're collecting a material you either find a new kind of material or it opens up into a space. Oh, trying to put a torch into blackness. <laughs> Let's see what we got going on here. Oh, and this will give me a faster way of bringing lava back up, which I want to do. Having a a cave system a little closer to my home. Wow, I wonder where... This looks like a... You know, something you would see at a water slide park. Water park. <laughs> pretty... Pretty long. I don't know if you'd call it a waterfall. Iron, awesome. Let's see what we got going down here. Again, so far very safe. Yeah, they just like to come out and attack me and my home at night, but I will forsake possibly more iron so I could leave this water as it is. If I had wood on me, which I... <laughs> Uh, I'm not trying to say those things. <laughs> okay, but if I had wood on me, um, which I do not of either kind, um, I would definitely make a boat just to see if I could slide down there. I'm gonna mark um, my signs. Not not backwards, but from where I first came in. I'm gonna grab some lava. I heard a spider. And I see some dirt. Well, it looks like it could go pretty far down there. And I should, I really should try and get used to keeping a bucket of water in my hot bar probably have saved my own life a number of times if I did that. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Gets the heart beating a little bit. Again, I don't know what the variations in those cave noises mean. Okay, so I'm gonna head back up with my buckets of lava. Oh, and quick tip for myself, more than I'm sure for anyone else. Um, 
while it is a good idea to have um, a bucket of water for safety in your hotbar, it is not a good idea to have buckets of lava in your hotbar, which I had two of, because, well, that's already led to, um, I think, more than one uh, unfortunate incidents for myself. So, yeah, a uh, quick tip for... <laughs> from me to me, uh, maybe anyone else.